Good morning, everyone! I know, you're probably like, Cassie, how are you doing a first impression video? It looks like you already have all your makeup on. <laughs> Sorry, that's a terrible joke. I don't have any makeup on. You know that. <laughs> I've got to go to class because it's the first day of school, kind of. I mean, it's the... It's my first day of classes anyways. What better thing to do on the first day of classes than test out a new beauty product that may or may not make my face look terrible. <laughs> I have got a little sample of the Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Illuminating Beauty Balm. It's water resistant. 80 minutes. Don't do an hour and a half. Only an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> But basically, this is supposed to be an all-in-one, high-def, age-defying beauty balm with SPF 30. Apparently, this is one universal shade that is terrifying. Lighten up! Add a touch of illumination with this revolutionary oil-free formula that uses the smallest particle of coated pigments for seamless, smooth coverage. Apparently this is ideal for everyone, and it gives the skin a lit from within glow. Science, science, science. Apparently the appearance of wrinkles is gonna go down by 84%. Again, not 85. Look out. Only 84. And then more random numbers. Basically, they're trying to make this sound really, really fancy. To use, you just apply it to clean, dry skin. Use alone or follow with Stila foundation or tinted moisturizer for complexion perfection. I don't have Stila foundations, so I'm just gonna use the foundation that I'm currently using. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, overall on Sephora, it's got like four stars, so apparently it's supposed to be a pretty good product. I really don't hear anything about it, at least on YouTube or in the beauty community. Sorry, Galileo's playing with a plastic bag. But I don't really hear about it, so I don't... Is it actually good? I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm gonna find out based on this little sample packet, and I am going to take you all with me. First impression time. Let's do it, you guys. It's been a while, but I'm excited. Good lord. So I feel like my skin doesn't look this bad in real life, but uh, I guess you can take it for what it's worth based on the camera. Uh, just gonna rip this open. Oh, I'm terrified. This looks so orange and not my skin color. Like I said, I am so glad I'm doing this on the first day of class. Hey guys, my name is I only use self-tanner on my face. You can also call me Cassie. Oh, why did I put this on my finger already? I need to- I'll go put up primer real quick here. I'm using the Magical Ball Primer from Guerlain because it is perfect and beautiful. And, you know, that's just what I'm using at the moment. Rub this in. I should take my glasses off or else someone's gonna yell at me. So what was I have to say? I bet it would have been better if you didn't have your glasses on. You would have been better if you didn't have your glasses on. <laughs> I am five when it comes to insults. That was just the primer. I don't know why I'm looking to see how that did. I uh, I know how my primer looks. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, it's so orange. I don't even... Okay. I don't know, maybe it's changing color. What do you guys think? Definitely smells like SPF, but also like they tried to make it a fruity SPF. Okay, so this half of my face has it on, this half doesn't. Is there a difference? This side feels really soft. But so does this side. <laughs> but you know what I mean, it's got like that product soft feeling to it. I don't know guys, this is really, really heavily scented. I'm terrified that this is gonna break me out. So I guess I'm just gonna put this on the rest of my face here. All right, so there you go. There it is on all of my face. I don't know, a lot of people on Sephora were like, I love using this for just an everyday glow and it covers up my imperfections and but I personally would not wear this on its own. <laughs> I mean, I don't see any sort of coverage 
at all. Do you? Am I? I mean, technically I am kind of blind right now, but uh. Yeah, no. I guess we're just gonna roll with it here. I'm just gonna put on the rest of my makeup, just, you know, concealer, and I'm gonna put my foundation on on top of it. with foundation and concealer on top of the HD illuminating whatever it's called it's a really long name that I know YouTube is gonna hate when I type it into the title bar I think my skin looks good but my skin always looks like this when I use my concealer and foundation it may have given me a little bit of a glow from within and also I can feel it you know it's not one of those products that is weightless I can definitely tell that I have something on my face and it makes me really nervous that if it gets even slightly too hot like on the train or anything today it's just gonna <laughs> right off my face so I mean I guess we will see how that goes there it is a little bit closer in maybe maybe that orange cast that it had gave me a bit of illumination on my face <laughs> right so I'm just gonna go and put on the rest of my makeup here and get dressed and then I will see you then so it'll just be a second here on YouTube land ready Ding. So this girl has got to get her butt and the rest of her body to class, so I'm gonna do that. I put on the rest of my makeup, which, you know, today it's not much, so I just put on a super bright purple lip, because, uh, that makes everything better and distracting. Can you see? Yeah, there's my face. I think I look really shiny. Or is that just the glow? You know, I guess we'll see. It is currently 7.06 in the morning, AKA, ew, too early. I will just uh, see you when I see you next. All right, I'll see you guys then. Bye. <laughs> canvas it's a thing of beauty all right hello I know it's been a long time since you've had to struggle to hear me because I am in my studio <laughs> as always the ventilation is very loud so I'm very sorry for that but nothing I can do gotta keep keep the paintings fresh which I know a lot of you want to see my artwork I feel like I've shown it in a few videos before but um, here you go the look again ooh pretty I paint celebrities and I put their own words on the canvas and sometimes I like to pretend I'm an abstract artist even though I'm not. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. I went to class and class ended a little early like it tends to on, you know, the first day of classes and so I just came out to my studio here and primed a canvas so that I can paint the next time I'm in here. It's uh, about lunchtime. It is currently 11.56. I look pretty good, you guys. <laughs> I do say so myself. You want to get a little closer? I mean, I look shiny. Like, I'm not gonna try and pretend I don't, but it's hot outside, so I will blot my face really quick here. You know you're an oily mofo when your blotting paper just sticks to your face. <laughs> oh, it's much better. So I'm just gonna continue on with my day. Like I said, I've got to go to a meeting here. And then I've got to go to the art store, pick up some supplies for my students for the next class, and yeah, I'll check in with you at some point or another, so I'll see you then. Bye!
that felt really good. <laughs> you guys, I'm just, I'm so tired and I'm so hangry. So I got Subway, so I'm really excited. You know, some people, their comfort food is like mashed potatoes and those kind of things. I like a nice Subway sandwich. <laughs> it is currently 9.33 p.m. But yeah, I really, I'm just, I'm so ready to take off my makeup and in a perfect world, I would be able to just rip off all my clothes in one very swift motion and shave my head and jump into bed and scream. Cause that's what I like to do, at least in my head. That's always the best option when I get home from a long day. I never do it, but it sounds nice. When it comes to the product though, I mean, my makeup stayed, but I mean, uh, mm, see all the things that you might want to see maybe some things you don't want to see I don't know guys this just it's not for me I shouldn't even say I don't know I'm just gonna say I don't want or need this in my life it's really heavy feeling like I feel like a cake face I know I don't really look it but I just feel like if I were to like run my nails down my cheek, I would have like five pounds of makeup underneath my nails, even though I know I don't have five pounds of makeup on my face, it feels like it. I got pretty greasy looking throughout the day, so I really don't feel like it aided in um, keeping my skin very matte looking or anything. I honestly don't know what kind of a person this would be for. Maybe for someone who likes really, really, really light coverage and if you're miraculously one of the people that the one shade it is, if you're one of those people that's that color. If you're expecting me to be articulate at this point of the night, mm-mm, mm-mm. But I don't know, like I said, it got really good reviews on Sephora and I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm very confused, I guess, rather than conflicted, because I know it's not for me. So I think that's it for me for today, you guys. I am so excited to take off my makeup, eat my Subway sandwich, and probably watch something trashy on TV. And then I'm gonna go to bed. So that just sounds delightful to me right now. I hope the review was helpful. I'm sorry. I feel like with these kind of products, it's always like, I don't, I don't know. Do you want it? Was it helpful? I hope the review was at least entertaining. I hope you guys are all well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.